Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're gonna do the real review for the Oppo Find N. Now I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as I can, so let's get right into it. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes, I love my white calm shoes. down. Now if you hear this uh, little rumbling in the background, I am in my basement, that's my boiler. I can't do nothing about that sound. The same way you can't do nothing about that fold line, <laughs> the Galaxy Fold 3. Now you're gonna hear me talking a lot about the Galaxy Z Fold 3 because this is the, the Oppo Finds N main competition. Okay, this is the main competition, the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Right out of the gate, if you ask me which one do I like better, I'm gonna go with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. I like the dual speakers spaced out correctly and I like the aspect ratio, okay? I like having the bigger display. Now, let's talk about the things that I don't like about this phone, and there's really only a few. Number one, the price. I paid 1,800 bucks for this. That's a little bit TGH, and if you don't know what that means, that's too goddamn high. I would have been comfortable paying 1,200 to 1,400 bucks. Now, if you're looking to buy this phone and you can find it for 12, 13, or 1400 bucks, I would say jump on it. But 1500 bucks, 16, 17, and what I paid 18, now you're going into Galaxy Z Fold 3 territory and you might as well go with the Z Fold 3. It's an all around better phone. Okay? So the price, a little bit TGH. Now, for 1800 bucks, I wouldn't have mind if they would have thrown some wireless earbuds or if they would have thrown a case. Okay, that's important. It's hard to find cases for these phones. It should have came with a case and it should have came with headphones for 1800 bucks. Other than that, you get what you pay for <laughs> and this is definitely a beast, okay? Next, besides the price, okay? The next thing that I don't like about this phone, the speaker setup. I don't like how they put both speakers on the bottom. It should have been a dual stereo speaker setup with one set on the top Okay, if not on the top right here, maybe in the earpiece. But when you got your phone open, and if you got it on a little desktop dock, same one I use right now, you're gonna notice that the speakers are firing from the bottom. Now, one thing about this phone that I do like is you can adjust the aspect ratios. Uh, you can flip it around and put the speakers on the top on certain apps, but it doesn't work like that for every single app. So sometimes you're gonna be forced to have bottom firing speakers. They do sound great. I just wish they would have been spaced out the way dual speakers are supposed to be spaced out. One on the bottom, one on the top. Having two speakers on the bottom, <laughs> it doesn't really make sense, but it does make that one speaker on the bottom sound a little bit louder. So you do have technically dual speakers. They're just both on the bottom. Okay, so I don't like that. Next, no IR blaster, not the biggest deal in the world, but I'm, I'm gonna keep mentioning it because we do got phones, even from last year, phones from this year, that do have IR blasters. Now on the side note, I think this year, the two companies to watch out for are Oppo and Xiaomi. Now we all know Samsung is coming with the heavy hitters. Vivo's coming up now. Huawei, they coming out with some big shit, even though um, until we iron out this whole Google app situation, you're not gonna really see any Huawei phones on my channel because I need Google apps in order to survive. Soon as they get Google apps back, then Huawei is gonna be right back up in the mix. You know Google coming out with their, um, their Pixel phones, no joke. OnePlus is always on the scene. But the two companies to watch out for this year is Oppo and Xiaomi, okay? I just had to get that off. <laughs> Where was we? Okay, no IR blaster, I don't really like that. Now, besides that, I would say the biggest thing about this phone that I don't like is the aspect ratio. I just don't like it. Now, this is where we're gonna have a big debate because a lot of other tech reviewers, I watched a few other videos, everybody likes the size of this phone, including me. This phone is very pocketable. Y'all remember my word? Pocketable. But here's my gripe. Having the bigger outer display, that's the way to go. All right, that's my biggest gripe about the Samsung Z Fold 3. If it had this size outer display, this phone would be unstoppable. A lot of people think that, okay, if, this, if you have this wide outer display, it's gonna mess up the aspect ratios, I know, and it's gonna um, be less pocketable. But I'm calling cap on that one. Look at it like this. All right, if you can fit this phone in your pocket, or you can fit this phone in your pocket, you can fit the Oppo Find N a little bit taller. 
Okay, if this phone was a little bit taller. Now, it hurts me the most on Instagram. That's why I hate, that's the, the, that's the thing I hate about this phone the most is my Instagram experience. Now, from the outer display, no issues, all right? This is a nice size outer display. All right, cool. But the problem is the inner display. When you open it up, this is what you get. Now, you can get full screen, okay? Right now, you can move this one around. But this is just not the best Instagram experience with these big giant bars on the side. Now let me show you something real quick. Now if you go to settings, right, we go to display size, let's take it over to Instagram. You can change the aspect ratios from four by three, 16 by nine, and full screen. Now if you put it on full screen, here's the Instagram experience that you're gonna get. Watch this now. Now I'm getting full screen, but for each picture, you don't get the full you don't get the full page, okay? Now, some of them you will, but a lot of them you're gonna get cut off. Now, let me open up Instagram exactly the same on my Z Fold so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so let's hit a hard refresh on both of them. Okay, here it goes. Now, let's see um, what we got. Do we get a refresh? Okay, now, thugging, all right, thugging. <laughs> so let's go to thugging's picture, okay? Look at the difference. And this is both aspect ratios. And if you flip it around, we'll start from, try to get the name right on the top, just like that. You can't see the boots. All right, those boots is important. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, look, Instagram is one of my favorite apps that I use the most, so that's why this is kind of important to me. The non-full screen Instagram experience, I just don't like it. And I just don't like it. So that kind of forces me to change the aspect ratio. Let's put it back to the way we had it. Let's go to Instagram, put it back to 16 by nine. Now I do like the fact that you can switch everything around like that. And now you get this experience. I don't like that. I wish this phone would have been a little bit taller. This way when I go full screen, I can get the full screen experience. Again, we can have this debate, go to the comment section and let me know how you feel. A lot of people think that this is the perfect size. I, this Fold phone is the perfect size. I disagree. I think the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is the perfect height, and this is the perfect width. We need a phone with this height and this width. That would be my dream foldable phone. Okay, That's really the only things about this phone that I don't like. Other than that, this phone is a major, major, major go. It's an all-around beast. Now, shout out to my man, Henry, and a couple other people on Instagram. I promised y'all um, I was gonna sell this phone after I make this video. But this is one of those reasons why I don't like to rush into my reviews. I like to actually use the phone for a couple of days, maybe even a couple of weeks if I have to. I know I'm kind of late. Okay, everybody's videos already dropped. I'm a little bit late. But I like to give y'all my real personal experiences. And with this phone, it took a little bit of time to grow on me but I love it. All right, shout out to Henry. I'm sorry, I cannot sell this phone. I'm keeping this phone. This is definitely gonna be in my rotation. Now, when I first got it, I did like it. I do think it has the best foldable display on the market with the least amount of visible foldable line. Okay, did I say that correctly? <laughs> I don't know if I said that correctly or not, but this phone has the best foldable display. All right, you can't see that fold in the, in, in the screen. I love that. And again, here's my word again, pocketable. This phone is very pocketable. The build quality is out of this world. It just took me a minute to fall in love with it because every time I used it, I started having flashbacks of my Z Fold 3. I just kept wishing it was a little bit taller. But then, you know, as the days went on and I started actually using it as my main phone all day long, I did fall in love with it, okay? I love it. Let's talk about the things that I do love about this phone. Number one, the build quality. The build quality on this phone is out of this world. Now, even though I'm kind of mad that they didn't drop a case in it, I'm not really too heavy handed and I'm not really too savage with my phones. They tend to all look brand new still without, without using cases. But if you got Butterfingeritis and you're always dropping your phone, you're gonna need a case. This is one of those phones that even if you do get a case, I did find a few on eBay, you're not gonna wanna use a case. These aluminum edges, the glass on the back, this phone feels so good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures. This is one of those phones that you're just gonna love holding. I, every time I, I whip this phone out of the bed, 
<laughs> for my scumbag activities. Every time I pull this phone out, I just like how it feels. I love holding it. And I get that feeling from certain phones, and certain phones you don't get, you don't got that same kind of feeling. Like with the Galaxies and the uh, frosted glass back, those phones, yeah, they look nice and all that, but they don't have that feel. You want that cold aluminum feel in your hand, and this phone has a little bit of weight. Okay, now I like grown man phones. This phone has a little bit of weight. It feels heavy, it feels durable, it feels like top quality. All right, this phone just screams premium. I love it, right, I love the build quality on this. Next, always on display, okay? Beautiful, always on display, fully customizable. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It's a picture of the whip. Got the time, the date, battery percentage. Now, only problem with this, always on display is you can't adjust the brightness like on the galaxies that's why i say samsung has the best always on display but this one you do have a nice look at that beautiful always on display now of course you do got a couple of different ways you can open up the device bomb you got face unlock let's do that again all right without even touching anything let's just pick it up and look at it bomb oppo one plus they make some of the best face unlocks that you're going to find on phones this is no different and of course, fingerprint sensor built into the power button, which works 100% of the time. Google, pay attention. The Pixel 7, I, I know you don't wanna put the fingerprint sensor in the back and mess up the beautiful aesthetics of the phone. Put the fingerprint sensor just like this, okay? Google, if you're watching this, Google, if you're watching this video, this is one thing that you gotta take notes. This is how you do it, okay? Samsung did it right with the Z Fold, exactly the same this is how you want your fingerprint sensor ultra fast ultra responsive now this phone does just like this uh, galaxy z fold you do have the same screen when it's off so you got your always on display which works so say i had it on the table like this always on display if i pick it up face unlock you see the camera face unlock while it's unlocked i mean while it's uh, unfolded and of course fingerprint sensor flawless okay build quality Hardware, flawless, okay? This phone is perfect. Speaking of hardware, that display, okay? Oppo did it right. You cannot see a foldable line in this phone. Look at this, okay? Now, on a side note, I just happened to open up Facebook real quick. On a side note, I just wanna take a minute and say thank you to everybody that's been sending their condolences to me and my family. I really appreciate it. I don't like posting my trials and tribulations and my downs on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. I like to keep my social media pretty much all about positive vibes, everybody having fun. But um, this is real life, okay? This is real life. My mother passed away a couple of days ago, so that's why y'all haven't seen me on YouTube, y'all haven't seen me on Instagram, y'all haven't seen me on Twitter, I haven't been replying to any comments. I took a couple of days off from social media just so I could mourn with my family privately. And I've been on an emotional roller coaster, a lot of ups and downs, you know, a lot of anger, a lot of sadness, laughter, tears. I've just been all over the place, but I'm back in the game now, okay? I took a couple of days off, but I'm back. But again, for everybody who knows me personally, thank you for all of the condolences and all of the well wishes from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate that, okay? Now, where was we? Back to this foldable display. You cannot see any fold. They did it right. Now, check this out. Split screen multitasking on this phone is pretty beastly. All right, let's see, what can I open up that safe? Let's open up Twitter. Okay, so we're on Twitter. I can be on Twitter and Facebook at the same time. This is real multitasking. Now, there's a couple of different ways you could do that. Say I happen to be on Facebook, uh, say on Twitter, I can open this up as a floating window, have it float around. Let's open up Facebook. Now I can be back on Facebook with the floating window. I can get rid of this if I want. Bong, just like that. Use the two finger, split screen. Open up just like that. <laughs> I almost, almost put everybody on blast. Anyway, the performance on this phone is top notch. Now I've been running this on AT&T. A lot of people ask, when you buy these Oppo phones and these Xiaomi phones, what carrier do you use? I'm using AT&T, and if you notice, let's turn off Wi-Fi. I'm using AT&T, I get a nice amount of bars. I've had no connection issues at all. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Now, this is uh, in my basement. 
with the uh, <laughs> I'm on AT and T's Obama Wi-Fi plan. Let's see. This is no uh, Wi-Fi. Let's see. Did it open up? Now this is not the best demo for this. I'm using AT and T. <laughs> I know, I know. This, this was this, this, that was not how it was supposed to look. All right. Well, you get the idea if you're using AT and T. Now let's turn on Wi-Fi again. We'll try that one more time. Exit out of that. Okay. We'll try that again. Okay. Go to Apple.com. All right, now that's how it's supposed to work like that. <laughs> you know, he, there, there it is. Okay, now if you want to, you can split screen the old fashioned way, like that. But I like the little two finger gesture. That's a nice little touch. Bang, split screen multitasking, love it. Again, the biggest thing with this phone is the pocketability. All right, <laughs> that's my word for this video, the pocketability. You're gonna love this phone, but I just have to disagree with people who say that, okay, well, if they made it taller, it wouldn't fit in your pocket. If you can fit this in your pocket, I, this is kind of a wide beast right here, you can easily fit this a little bit taller. Now I tried, I put on my tightest pants, and y'all know I don't really be rocking all of the tight jeans like that. I found the tightest pants that I could possibly get away with wearing, <laughs> and I had those on, and I had both of these in my pocket with no issues. If I would've had this phone a little bit taller, I would, I would actually say that I, I like this better than the Galaxy Fold. If this is a little bit taller, I would take it over the Galaxy Fold just because of that no, just because of the build quality and that no visible fold. Although, I gotta keep it real, I think the Galaxy camera is a little bit better. Now I'm gonna show you some test pictures and videos for yourself, and then if you want to, you can take it back to my Z Fold review. I think the Galaxy camera is just a little bit better, and the Galaxy is just, the Galaxy would be a better phone for if you live in the USA. Uh, you're gonna get all your, your carrier options, you're gonna get all your services. The fold, the folding mechanism on the Galaxy, it feels just as good, okay? But I don't know, this one just feels perfect. They did it right, all right? They did it right, and that's part of the reason why I can't get rid of this phone. They just, they did it right, okay? Now we've seen the web browser speeds. Let me show you these odd dual speakers real quick. Let's pull up a YouTube video. Uh, we'll see, let's pull up one of the classics. Now I'm gonna do this in real time. Let's take it over to my official sound test video, okay? Let's get max volume. We'll start that over. All right. Now, of course, we got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Ruby 8. Here it goes. Both speakers on the bottom. You see, when I rotate it, it doesn't rotate to every angle. Now I got the speakers on the left. This doesn't rotate to have the speakers on the top. Now I got the speakers on the right and back on the bottom. They definitely sound loud. They just should have been spaced. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. Again, the speakers do sound good. I just wish they would have been spaced out correctly. Now, let's take a look at this beautiful display. Okay, let's pull up one of my classics. Okay. Now this is full screen, there's no, no pinch. You're gonna have the black bars. One thing I do like though, now say I did have to use a stand, I could put it on the stand like this and have the speakers to the right. First time for everything. Now this is me on the submarine. Everybody got the Sony cameras. You'll never see that again. <laughs> I doubt it. Let's uh, get a little skip. Okay, actually underwater. My visibility is kind of poor right now. Oh, check this out. I'm really on the submarine. <laughs> I know black people can't swim, so this is a, a huge deal for me. 
Okay. Close it up. Get full screen from the outer display. Beautiful. Seamless transition. Opens up just like that. Of course, you got your picture in picture. Okay. Okay. Let's exit out of that. Bonk. Do a little split screen. Take it back over to YouTube. Just like that. Split screen multitasking, no issues. Big, beautiful, vibrant display. Lower refresh rate on the outer display than the uh, main display, but chances are you're not gonna be watching YouTube videos on this display when you can just pop it open. Okay, you can just pop it open. Now, one more thing that I got, forgot to mention that I didn't like, I wish the outer display was a little bit brighter. Now, when I was using this in direct sunlight, outside, walking around, doing my neighborhood stuff, I did notice that I wanted the outer display to be a little bit brighter. It needs a few more nits. All right, I'll throw a few more nits in the uh, next outer display for the brightness, but other than that, really no issues with this phone at all, okay? Big, beautiful display, speaker sound great, uh, software extra smooth, now, no Android 12 just yet, but we will have it soon. Let's try a little bit of gaming. All right, here we go. Asphalt 9. Let's get it on. Now, put it into full screen mode. It looks beautiful. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Tap and hold the drip, of course. Okay, here we go. Now look for lag. You're not really going to see any. Snapdragon 888. Okay, I'm trying to get fancy real quick. Here it is. Woo! Okay. I'm trying to get a lot of stuff going on on the display <laughs> at the same time. All right, there it is. We're with places. All right, first place. <laughs> okay, hold up. Anyway, no issues with gaming on this phone. If you want to, let's just exit out of this. No issues with gaming on this, but if you want to, you could go over to settings. If that's not too big for you, you're gonna go over to main screen, Go to display size, asphalt nine, we'll put it in 16 by nine. And then now you notice you got the bars. All right, so if full screen is too much action for you, you can always switch it around. But it actually looks better in full screen. Let's keep it moving. Now let's take a look at the camera, which on the side note is surprisingly good. You'll see for yourself. Let's go through the different shooting modes. You got night mode. Okay, you could do wide angle all the way up to 20 times zoom in your night mode. You got video, 4K, 60 frames per second. You can also zoom in. You got photos, so you got wide angle all the way up to 20 times scumbag zoom. Now you got portrait mode, same thing, wide angle and close up. And you got more. So you got expert mode, you got panorama, you got movie, slow motion, dual video view, all right, that's you and the subject at the same time. You got time lapse, text scanner, and Brino scan. Now, one more thing I want to mention: if you open up the phone like this, bang, you do have split screen mode. So if you want to, you can vlog or you can shoot your videos like this. Bang, just like that. Hit this button right there, okay? And you can have preview. All right, so watch this. Let's turn on preview, and there's me. <laughs> All right, so this way, when you're taking a picture of somebody, they can see the picture before you actually take the picture. That is pretty dope. That's one of the best things about having a split screen display, doing stuff like that. Now, take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. And like I said, the camera is surprisingly good.
Do the RDHS regular daily activities. Now you spent 1800 bucks for the phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now you do have wireless charge and reverse wireless charge, so you might as well get yourself a desktop wireless charger. You wake up in the morning, your phone is being wirelessly charged. You got always on display, so I can see the time, the date, and my battery percentage. Now when I'm ready to get up, I don't have to touch anything. I'm just gonna pick up the phone and look at it. That super fast face unlock right into the display. Now we're gonna start off with the outer display, which is one of my favorite things about this phone. You don't have to unfold it. Okay, now some of the things that I like to do on my Galaxy Z Fold 3, I can only do them with this uh, phone unfolded because it's just too narrow for my fat fingers. But with this phone, we can check the weather, just like that, and if we want full screen, watch the transition, bang, super fast, transition back just like that. Okay, 41 degrees cloudy, pretty nice day. Exit out of that. Now you do have side panels. Okay, so if I wanted to, take a quick morning time selfie. Bond, send it over to my girl, keep it moving. <laughs> All right, next now, let's take it over to, let's do a little bit of work. Let's go to uh, Gmail. Okay, now let me just uh, go to something. Uh, okay, let's do a little bit of Gmails. Now from my Gmails, if I wanna reply to this, Look at the size keyboard. I can actually type, uh, what's good bro? I can actually type on this keyboard without having to physically look at it like that. But if I want to, bong. Now we got this big giant floating keyboard. I can change the transparency 
and it's just this is a pleasure to type on you're gonna love this keyboard right here <laughs> what's good bro all right that's all i that, that I'll, do, I'll do brother that's all i really do again usable outer display x out of that that's my work section the matter of fact let's go back to gmails real quick okay and this is how it's going to look like now when you're reading your gmails you can zoom in like i said i haven't really been on the comments lately but i'm starting back up okay exit out of that that's how it's going to look okay so that's my work segment of the day now let's do a little bit of social media let's take it over to twitter okay let's see my mentions anybody talking about me Let's see, this is creepy. The only thing me and my kids will pledge allegiance is to the hotness and Flossie Carter. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Now, for something like this, I want to see him full screen. Bong, open it up just like that. That's what you're going to love about this phone. And that's that's kind of what pays for itself. Because right? you're going to pay a pretty penny for this. Right? <laughs> a pretty penny, not an ugly penny. You're going you're gonna to spend a pretty penny on this one. But just being able for, to open it up for that transition, and it doesn't have to reload. You know, some certain apps, when you transition, it reloads the app. No, if I'm in the middle of reading this sentence, I don't have to open this up and refresh Twitter. It's right to that sentence that I was reading. Okay, now, <laughs> he's pledging allegiance. <laughs> you got you to gotta respect that kid, though. You got to respect him. <laughs> he's pledging allegiance, bro. He loves his country. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, <laughs> floss my my hero bong. Okay, let me. Re re I um again, I, I missed y'all, man. I, like I said, I've been all, I've been off the social media scene. I missed y'all, man. I'm I'm glad y'all 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 still here, man. I'm glad y'all still here. Let's. Uh, I'm trying not to get emotional, man. It is what it is. All right, let's see. Um, tested positive for COVID, so now I'm quarantined in my cave, watching Flossy Carter and playing GTA. Now, if you're gonna quarantine, this is how you do it. Dual screens. All right, get your Flossy Carter on. I like that. I like that. Bong. Let's get it. Uh, bong. <laughs> now, y'all got me saying my own words. All right, let's see, y'all. Uh, ladies, you know the procedures. Okay. Got the speaking case. Got to like that one, too. Anyway, so this is how Twitter's going to look. Okay, Whitestone Dome. Okay. This is real nice. Again, at any moment, I can just fold this up. And the best thing about it is you can actually use this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I don't like to just say things. I like to show you. Let's take it over to Twitter. Look at the difference of, of Twitter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at the difference on Twitter on the Fold. This, the, the, the Fold, this is my favorite phone of 2021. It's just too, too goddamn narrow. All right, it's too goddamn narrow. All right, I, I, look at this. Look at this. Now, let, let, let's say I want to, um, let's say I want to reply to something. Watch the keyboard. Look at the keyboard. I have to actually look at this keyboard as opposed to, say I want to reply to this one. Look at the difference in keyboards. Now, it, it might not seem that drastic, but it is. All right, it's a big deal. Anyway, let's exit out of that. You got all your multi-use windows. Okay. Let's close them up all real quick, just like that. Bang. Now, let's take it over to Facebook. Again, I say I'm on Facebook. I can open this up. Let's do a little Facebook. Let's see what's going down on Facebook. And at the same time, matter of fact, let's do a little split screen. We'll do Facebook and uh, we'll do Twitter at the same time. We'll leave the leave the mentions open. Let's see what's going down on Facebook. Now, if I want to, look at those wings. Now, this is, let's see, flock chicken, flock chicken chips. <laughs> chicken chips on flock. Okay, flock. I don't know about the name on those. Though. I don't know about the name. All right, Chantel. Okay, everybody looking good. Okay. Okay, happy birthday to my man. Who this? Um, Elvin. Elvin got them wave. That's the wave waves. I, I, you know Elvin sleeping with the do rag on extra tight at night. Look at look at them waves. Yo. Extra tight. Now again, if I want to, we get a little uh, floating window. And now let's do Twitter again. Okay, so now I'm back on Twitter. We got the floating window. Open this up. Two apps at the same time. This is multitasking when you got two apps moving at the same time. Okay, go full screen again. Back on Facebook. Okay, let's see anything we need to see on Facebook. Look at these Cartier glasses, <laughs> bro. The Santos glasses. I think I need these. I think I need these. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I was trying to do a screenshot. Let's see. Um, screenshot. Bunk. Now, this is one of the things I like about having that little um, this little tab right here. You see, I keep a screenshot and screen record. So I just got a quick screenshot of these Cartier Santos glasses. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm ignorant enough to wear these out in public. I know, I know. Ah, I was trying to stay off Facebook, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I got pictures of my moms all over the Facebook, man, getting me, getting me emotional, man. That's why I tried to stay off Facebook for a minute. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, though. All right, so let's um exit out of that. I know, I just got a lost for words just now. I'm fighting through this. Let's uh, take it over to, let's see what else we got. Okay, so we did Facebook already. Let's, let's see TikTok. Now, TikTok, you got the bars. Now, let's, uh, let's turn this down now. One thing that will put me in a good mood is when I see some photos of Amaya. All right, so let's get him like that. Look at Amaya. Amaya is outside, outside, bro. Amaya is outside. I got I respect it though. I respect it. Now, if I want to, let's 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 go to settings. We'll go to main display. All right, main screen. Let's go to display size. Let's take it over to TikTok. Okay. Now TikTok. Let's try full screen TikTok. Okay. Now TikTok actually looks good in full screen. TikTok looks good in full screen. Let's see. Um, let's get a quick refresh. Okay. There it is. You know, you, you can see everything. You can see the full page. If Instagram looked like this on this phone, it would have been perfect. Who that? Cardi B and um, Hennessy? Okay. Okay. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Let's see. Walking this New York way, bro. Let's see. Walking this in the New York way. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. gotta stop clowning New York cats. So we, we don't all we don't all say B all the time and dead ass. Even though I dead ass be saying B a lot though. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, so here's how your TikTok is gonna look. Wow, this is, okay, now look, it's about to be some shenanigans right now. <laughs> the glizzy. <laughs> Drop the glizzy on her like that. Okay, all right, this is a family show. It's still a family show. All right, it's still a family show. So you get a sneak peek, but it's still a family show. All right. I, I, I just get a little sneak, let's get a sneak peek. All right, but it's still a family show. Exit out of that. Now let's take it over to Instagram. Again, my, my biggest problem with this is the Instagram not having the full screen. But I like how you can um, move it around. It would have been nice if you could split Instagram. Instagram does not support split screen, but it doesn't support split screen on any phone, so it's not just this phone. Right, here's how your Instagram is gonna look. Now I haven't been on Instagram for a while. Let's see, uh, give me a little RIP right here. 15 years old, YouTube, uh, pretty, pretty sad stuff, man, pretty sad stuff. Let's see, um, jewelry always uh, gets me in a good mood. Okay, jewelry. <laughs> I like jewelry. Let's see, anything else? Um, okay. Bobby Shmurda. I, you know, Bobby Shmurda, he's, he's been acting a little, 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 he's been a little bit, I don't know. I don't, what y'all think about Shmurda lately? I understand he's been in prison for a while. You know, he coming out, he's living his best. I'm not mad at that. He's living his best life. You just gotta tone it down a little, Bobby. Bobby, tone it down. Okay. Now, this is a referee right here. <laughs> Make sure you support your local referees. All right. Okay. 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 Anyway, all right, now this, this is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. But again, my, my biggest gripe is just I wish the full screen experience was a little bit different, though. I just wish it was a little bit different. I like the fact that you could just go to on the fly and just quickly change everything up. And it's quickly dropping in full screen. It's just not the same, no. It's just not the same. <laughs> not the same. This is a family show. All right. Um. Let's see. Uh. All right. Let's take it over my Instagram where it's safe. Okay. All right. We got safe, safe photos, y'all. Safe photos. Anyway, so this is how your Instagram is gonna look. You see, this is me right here looking like a complete douchebag. You know, being a douche. That's how. That's how I move. Pretty douchey, which I know about the wingtip Timberlands. I, if I go to Texas, I'm coming through with the wingtip Tims on. Okay. Now a lot of people was roasting Amaya for cutting steak with a with a scissors, but when you go to Japanese restaurants, they don't give you a knife and fork. They give you a scissors. I, Amaya, Amaya didn't come with her own scissors in her pocket. They, this is what they give you. Uh, top 10 earbuds. I'm gonna do that this week. I promise y'all, I'm doing that this week. Now that I'm back in the game. Happy holidays from me and white shoes. Anyway, so that's how it's gonna look. The best thing about this phone is the, look, I, I, could, I really could have made this video in 10 minutes. I could, oh, really five minutes. I could have just said the best thing about this phone is the wide outer display. If you don't take away nothing from this video, take that away. I right, take that away from this video. The wide outer display is gonna make you love this phone. When I first got it, I started using it. I felt like it was too short. I was gonna sell it to my man, Henry. All right, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna sell it to my man, Henry. Hold on, let me see. 
Shout out to Henry, man. Shout out to Henry. Oh, man. There's one more thing I want to mention, too, real quick. One more thing I want to mention. Let me see if I... I want to put them on blast. I want to put them on blast. <laughs> one more thing I want to mention, because I just got this email right here. All right, so hold up. Let me talk about that real quick. Anyways, anyway. So that's the RDA regular daily activities. No issues at all. Okay, you can use this phone as your main phone. Unfold it or fold it. It passes the RDA test. Now, before I get out of here, one more thing I want to talk about, the YouTube scams. All right, can y'all please stop falling for these YouTube scams? First of all, if, I, if I'm doing a giveaway, y'all seen giveaways on my channel all, all these years. If I'm doing a giveaway, I'm not going to ask you for any money. Number one, I do not use WhatsApp. Okay, now if y'all go to the comments, let's see if I can find one real quick right now. Let's see if I can go go to comments because they, they, they've been on my page all day. Yeah, here it goes. Look, this is a perfect example. This is a scam. You see it says WhatsApp. That's my picture. WhatsApp, you were picked for a prize. Now, per now look, you see I even replied, stop with the scam. Nobody's falling for it. You, you see the difference between my name? You see that one says WhatsApp? And there's my name. Now, when you're looking at it, I'm looking at it from my YouTube. But from your YouTube, my name is going to have a check mark next to it. It's not going to be WhatsApp with some bullshit WhatsApp number. Please stop falling for these scams. All right, now somebody just sent me this big email. Okay, somebody said uh, you were picked for a prize. All right, you were picked for a prize. And then they actually got into a discussion with the person. Uh, congratulations, you won. You're among our shortlisted, shortlisted winners. First of all, you can always tell a scam by mis... Now, look, I'm not, I'm not a big English major, but you can see spelling and simple grammatical errors. And, and you can see that this is not the way I talk. Okay, congratulations, you won. You're among our shortlist winners. Y'all know I don't talk like that. I, I don't. I do not talk like that. Please stop falling for the scam. Now, somebody, I'm not going to mention the name, but it kind of made me mad the other day. Somebody fell for one of these scams, and the person said, okay, you got to pay them $150 or something like that for shipping. So they, they donated to my channel $150, which I didn't know nothing about. I just looked one day and said I had a donation. I'm like, okay, maybe somebody appreciate the hard work that I be putting in on this channel. Appreciate me buying these phones out of my own pocket. You know what I'm saying? So maybe somebody wanted to support the channel. I'm with that. So I'm looking for the person to say thank you to them and all of that. Then I get a PayPal claim. Somebody's claiming, somebody's going to PayPal and claiming that I scammed them out of $150. So then I had to do my research and all that, come to find out that person was falling for one of these scams. So they paid a $150 donation to my channel. And then now they think that it's me. So now they go into PayPal, opening up a claim like, oh, I, um, I charge them $150. I never gave them a phone. Stop falling for these scams, okay? I, I, you're never going to see me using WhatsApp ever. Let's get that clear right now. You're never going to see me using WhatsApp, Telegram, or none of these little bullshit apps. You're gonna see me on YouTube with the big check mark, or you're gonna see me on Instagram. Okay, simple, simple enough. Or you're gonna see my usual email that's gonna be associated with my channel. All right. So to this dude right here, I'm glad you. I, I didn't get a chance to reply because this actually just came in at 7:17. I was in the gym, and this just came in. But I'm gonna let this guy know that this is a scam. All right. Do not fall for any of these stupid scams. Now I'd be trying to go through as usually what I would do is this. I would just hide them from channel. But what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to reply and leave my reply so people can see the difference in the names. Okay, so I'm gonna stop banning them from the channel. I'm just gonna reply to as many as I can. But if you go to my, if you go to my YouTube comments, I don't know if you can see right now, but look, you see, it's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. And this is just from a couple of hours ago. I don't have time to go through every comment Okay, scam alert. I actually went to that. So I hope that person, uh, one UI foreskin. <laughs> the one UI foreskin, I like that. I actually went to that comment. But again, do not fall for the YouTube scams. Let me go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Apple Fine N a major, major, major go. This is my second favorite foldable phone behind the Galaxy Z Fold 3. But when it comes to the outer display, this is the best. Okay, when it comes to the no crease on the unfolded display, this is the best. It's just a little bit too short for my needs. I wish it was a little bit taller. Other than that, the software, the hardware, the battery life on this phone is great. The cameras are pretty good. 
no lag, no hiccups, no issues, silky smooth, beautiful transitions. I love it, okay, I love it. This is a triple major go. Now, 1800 bucks, that's a little bit TGH. I would say if you're gonna spend 18, you're gonna have a better unfolded fold experience with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. As far as unfolded, this is a better experience. Okay, this one is worth 1800 bucks. If you can buy this phone for 15 and under, jump on it. Okay, jump on it immediately. I'm not selling this one, I'm keeping it because that's how much I actually like it. Anyway, Oppo Find N, this is a triple major go, 100% white shoes approved. Now let me say one more thing. I know this is not my best video, it's not my best work. I don't really feel 100% like myself yet. But in order to get back into the swing of things, I decided to make this video to try to force my way back into the game. Okay, so bear with me, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to be my usual jovial self. I'm trying to get my jokes back to normal. I'm trying to feel 100%, you know, back to being me. But I'm just really going through a little bit of, a little bit of uh, trials and tribulations right now. So bear with me. I know this is not my best work, but we got OnePlus coming up. We got Samsung coming up. I'm back in the game. We're going to get back to normal. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shoes came in right on time. We out of here. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys in that. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch your bro. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock, one to beam up.